Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How is everybody doing? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I am so flipping excited for today because there's nothing that makes me happier than organizing or things that are built for organizing and just organizing home decor jars. Like that just, oh, I love it so much. And I am so excited because today we are going to be organizing part of my kitchen. I'm not going to be doing the whole kitchen because I am not rich and I don't have money to be buying all these organizing things because it adds up and it gets really expensive. But I do have like two sections that I'm or three sections that I'm going to be tackling today in the kitchen. I am so excited. Um, first, I really, really wanted to redo my spice drawer. You guys will see it later, but it looks awful. I'm going to start with a mini haul of everything that I got and then I'll show you guys everything else later. Um, let me just open up my windows but i wanted to organize my spice drawer because it's just so messy i have way too many spices and it's just everywhere so i got these little 12 spice jars and it's these cute little like glass jars with wooden lids so this is what they look like and of course you would take like the plastic part out and then this is what what the jar looks like i think they're so nice and we really love like that wood minimal look so i really love these and i got 12 of these and they actually came with a like labels which are these like black labels i don't really like these labels i think they're too like chunky and i don't know i just don't like them but i went ahead and ordered these other labels from amazon this is like very popular on tiktok right now and like pinterest like everybody has these like jars and labels but i got these labels they're like the minimal white and it says like black pepper spice all natural and then it just has like a bunch of spices it came in a thing like this and it just has a bunch of labels of different spices and i'm pretty sure they have like all the spices that i have they even have one for adobo like when i saw the one for adobo i was like period because i use adobo so i was like so excited because i was already thinking in my head like i'm probably not going to be able to put my adobo in one of these because they're not going to have a spice for that but they do they even have one for like old bay so excited for these labels but they're super cute i don't know if it's focusing but super super cute also don't mind my nails i really need to go get them redone they've grown so much but yeah i got these labels and then also another thing that i wanted to kind of organize is the drawer where i keep all my utensils because my utensils just get so messy and all over the place and then i have a jar with utensils on my kitchen so i got these dividers for the drawer it's these wooden wooden dividers and they have like springs which let me tell you when i open these they were all together it's four of them they were all together and they were wrapped up right and i cut the string and this shit shot up and it hit the box but i was like what if it would have like hit me in the face or my tooth or something Yo, I, it would have knocked me out because it was like four of them and I, I was just like so shocked and the box actually says like be careful when you open it because they are under like pressure but i was so scared like it was so loud um but yeah so you can put these in your drawers and make it whatever size you want i hope that this is long enough for my drawers because they're pretty long but got these and then i also got a lazy susan with it's a wooden one and she's beautiful the only thing was i wanted this for my spice drawer to put my like sauces like my hoisin sauce my soy sauce my vinegars whatever right and but it's too big it doesn't like the door wouldn't be able to close so i don't think it's gonna work out and then lastly pots and pans pots and pans are the death of me the pots and the drawer the cabinet where i have my pots and pans excuse me is horrendous like we just throw it all in there don't care like it's so bad so i got this little thing that goes in the drawer in the cabinet and then you build it up and you put your pots and pans and it's all nice and neatly organized so i really wanted to try it out because our pots and pans look awful and i haven't built it but this is technically what it looks like so hopefully hopefully this works out anyways i think that is it for the haul that's everything that i got on amazon if you guys liked any of this stuff i will leave my amazon storefront link down in the description so you can go ahead and shop if you liked any of this stuff but I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the labels on my jars and then later I will put my spices in them and organize them. Very nice. I'm so excited. So I moved to David's office and this is where we're at right now. I've been putting on some of the stickers on the spice jars and I kind of figure out how I want them. So ooh, though they look so good. Look at this. This is garlic powder right here. And so I've been putting the lids on them to kind of guide myself where the lid ends 
that's where I start my sticker kind of so that they all look the same because what I was seeing was like I didn't have like a guide so as far as a guide goes I just start where it ends and then I put it in the middle slide my finger down and then I go to the sides to kind of press it down and I started taking out the spices out of the drawer and I realized that I didn't show you guys what the spice looked like the spice cabinet looked like so I'm gonna show you really quickly um, this is what it looks like so far before it had all these spices all over it I'll put like a little clip over here because I took a little video but this is what it looks like right now so I just took out all of the spices I already had this this is really cool because it extends and it's really nice to make the spices organized um, but I'm gonna take all of this out and clean it because this is super dirty like you can see how it's like white here and it's dirty here because that's where like the wood stuff was and then that's where I wanted to put the little lazy Susan so we can just like you know see the, the bottles but we'll see I'm gonna go ahead and just start cleaning out everything and then I have to just put the spices in all of the jars I also took the labels out of this one and put uh, peppercorn and I think it looks so good I think it looks so pretty but yeah these were my old spice jars I only had four of them um, I might reuse these for something else but we'll see attack putting all those spices in the jars it was too much spice so i was like sneezing for a long time but i am all done with the spices and it looks so good i am so excited i do have some spices left over because i didn't have enough jars and also those are spices that i don't really use like i have one that's like lemon pepper i don't really use lemon pepper so i have to figure out what i'm gonna do i was thinking of combining like a bunch of them on the steak seasoning because i don't have that much steak seasoning and steak seasoning is literally like a bunch of spices together i don't know fight me in the comments if you want i don't know but i'm gonna put in all the spices in place and then i'll show you guys what they look like but they're all gonna go right there let's do a little transition one two three I'm gonna start moving on to the drawer I'm gonna show you the before of the drawer because I didn't show you guys the before of the spices so I'm gonna show you the before of the drawer this is what it looks like there's just like this is all over the place there's just these knives we never use these knives so I'm gonna put these knives away because we literally have a whole knife set right there so there's no reason why we should have these knives out here and like we just have just like random stuff so i'm gonna be putting the dividers in here first i'm gonna go ahead and just take everything out and then i'm gonna clean this thing like i did with the spices and then put everything in place the good thing about this these dividers is that you can just move them and they're just very oh my god they're very nice i need to like put this down it's like sticking up so ugly but this is what i think i'm gonna do and then these don't mind this mess but these are all the utensils that i think i'm gonna put away and literally just leave like the wooden ones there just so it just looks nicer and everything is put away very nice um because i think it would just look better like that and like the cutting board and stuff i think i'm gonna put where the pots and pans were or are which is here but i'm gonna put that organizer here so this is gonna look so much better i am so excited This thing is like the best thing ever. So basically you just have all these little parts and you just squeeze them in here. And then that like supports your pots. And then you just make little levels and then you just stick it in your drawer. I think that looks, that's so smart. And it's pretty, I mean, it doesn't have the legs yet, but it's pretty, pretty sturdy. Guys, it is the next day and I 
am all done with the kitchen. I'm so excited. I really wanted to show you guys. Yesterday, David and I ended up going to Walmart and picking up some stuff because we're building benches. My next project is going to be to remodel like the entryway of our home and we built a bench and I'm going to show you the bench real quick. Um, we will have a whole video on how we built it, but that's the bench right there and we it's all reclaimed wood from like a deck that we had outside. Um, so I'm definitely really excited about that, but we went to Walmart, got sidetracked, and I never finished the video, so I just wanted to show you, like, the spice rack and all of that. I'm about to leave to Kohl's, too, because the Lacey Susan that I got from Amazon didn't work out because it was just too big for my cabinet, so I actually went to Walmart and got a different one. So the one that I got at Walmart was this one right here, which is, like, a shelf, right? I got two of these, but I only needed the bottom part. I only really needed the Lacey Susan. So I'll show you guys what I did. Um, so this is the spice drawer, which is so beautiful. These are all the spices. Let me just make it brighter. All the spices are here. Um, I ended up reusing these with some of the condiments that we have that we don't really use. Put those there. I took off the label from this and put this one instead. This is from Walmart. And then I also reused this one for the salt. And then I have just some random ones here hidden. I also added the Sassoon packages on in like in this little jar. But this is pretty much what it looks like. So I just kind of hide it with these. And it looks perfect. Um, this little shelf I got at Walmart. And then up here, these are the Lazy Susans that I got. And then you're just able to turn everything. And it just, it's more organized so then I can just keep all my sauces and it just looks so nice. I'm so excited. So that's what I did with the spice drawer or spice cabinet. And then I had the leftover tops, right? And then it came with these sticks and I literally just put them together and decided to put my fruit in it. And I think it looks really cute and like aesthetic. Um, so that's what I ended up doing with the last pieces. I didn't waste any of the little shelf pieces. And then I also took out some of the utensils from here and put them all in here. So I went ahead and put the dividers in this drawer and did this, which looks very organized and neat. I also added another divider to this drawer and I have all my baking, like for Juniper Street stuff here. And then I have my measuring cups and some other stuff. Another thing that I organized was this. I added the last divider here and then I have my bags and then my reusable uh, Ziploc bags in here. And the last thing that I used was the um, pots, pots and pans uh, organizer, which honestly life-changing it looks really 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 good let me show you this is what it looks like you can literally make it however high or low you want it so you can adjust the little levels of it and you just take out whatever you need and then you put it back and it's just very organized you can also like change like I said, you can change it if you get bigger pots or pans or smaller or whatever. And then I also have some stuff in the back, but I really, really love it. It's just very organized. Last thing I organized in the kitchen was this drawer. This was our junk drawer. So I put these little containers here for Juniper stuff. Got some pens and like a bunch of keys that I don't even know what they're for. I don't know if they're for this house or what. Got some pens, some tape. I have a bunch of command strips and stuff. And these are the last the leftover sticks from this that I'm going to keep if like the other one breaks or anything. I have extra. And I got my lighters, hand sanitizer, and a flashlight. And that's it. That is everything that I was able to organize. I am so, so excited. I hope you guys love it. I had a lot of fun doing it. And I'm definitely really happy to be able to like cook and use my spices and all of that. I think it looks so nice. I'm a like strong believer that if everything looks nice, you will get more things done. And you will just do more in general. But anyways, I love you guys so, so, so much. And I'll see you on my next video.